Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we're playing some $2.9 Max on... Uh, we're actually playing on Natural 8, part of the GG uh, network. It's the same player pool as GG. Uh, these are new games on, on Natural 8 and on, and on the GG network. They... Um... I think they started on the 1st of April, something like that. They used to have 9 Max games before, and then they stopped them for whatever reason. I didn't realise that they were coming back. Um, but here they are. There's a slight difference, though. They do have... Um, uh, these are... They do have antis. So there's a, a small blind anti. Every player has to play it put into the pot uh, at the start of every round. That's in addition to the small blind and the big blind. So each pot is, uh, well, it starts off quite big. Um, six big blinds. So there's four and a half blinds in antis. And then you've got the, the small blind and the big blind. So it's total to six. You can see that here. I'm showing six tables at the moment. I will zoom in and out. So it looks a bit of a mess. I do plan to to focus on tables here. Um, I don't know if six tables are going to work. I like to play six tables. Uh, it's great that you can do six tables here. On PokerStars, they only allow you to do four. I just think that's a bit patronizing. Um, you know, I mean, you can see even now I'm, I'm waiting to play a hand, and that's at six tables. So I don't know why Poker Stars think it's better for you to play four. And they did lots of research to come up with that number. Good for them. I don't like it, but that's not important. So, um, yeah, so, and also the. You can buy in for 200 big blinds. So let's say you're nine handed. Everyone, I'm only just playing two dollar here, obviously. Let's just, let's say everyone puts in for 200 big blinds. So that's automatically, you know, 36 dollars out there. You know, and, and then plus the the ante. So you've got basically you've got deep stacks, lots of action. But you need to be careful because obviously it's not like playing normal stack. So you need to just to make some adjustments. I don't really know what all of those adjustments are myself yet. But, you know, cards like Ace Ace become uh, less valuable. Okay, I'm, I'm going to re raise this here with the Ace King suited. You know, in multiple pots, obviously, you know, you, you know, your race is, well, it's going to be in trouble anyway in, in, in a normal situation. We didn't hit the ace king there. Should follow up with the bet, but there's always, already quite a lot in there. I'll follow up with the bet. The ace king on the bottom right, we hit the king. Well, we take that ace king down, that's great. Let's try to zoom in to the ace king hand here. Uh, I'm going to re raise this here because there's draws there. Uh, 
So you can see here, there's going to be some quite big pots that we're going to, going to be playing for. We've already played a few hands. I'll, I will have a look at the chart in a moment. Um, and that, it's going to be a little bit... Little, update that off the screen. Just need to update it. I think I've been playing for an hour or so before we, I started the videos. So I will use the poker craft to update you. Um... This is not ideal because it doesn't take into account the rake. I'm not sure why. I have an idea why, but it would be nice if it was just honest, really. But there you go. You have to use hold of manager or something to get a proper calculation of what you've been. So here's here's my graph so far this morning. Okay. Um plus four dollars here. But obviously, it won't be that at the end because we need to take into account the rake. But you know, I did I did play some yesterday. I think the rake was coming out at around. I mean, I was only about a thousand hands. I think the rake was coming out around about eight, eight point five big blinds, one hundred. It's a lot, but you know, it's not enough to to go on well, well you know we'll keep an eye on that okay so we've got the flush draw here at the top right we'll zoom into that i'll do my best to zoom in and out i'm not very good at doing that we've got lots of people who play lots of hands here deep stacks and they kind of making lots of mistakes so we're going to be playing quite loose let's hopefully we can get a heart here uh we get the draw on the heart it's a really sort of terrible one if look at this look at this you know jack i'm gonna have to go through it with all that money now i don't like it but this is a situation with deep stuck poker sometimes you have to there we go. Good luck, hearts. Uh, what a total brick. You know, you know it's going to be three of clubs. Total brick. And uh, ace jack, ace four. You know, heart or nine would have killed that for us. But, you know, there you go. That's what we're up against. We're up against some wild betting going on. And it's going to be very swingy. And, uh, you know, we're going to be playing for deep stacks. So let's, let's go. Um, okay, I'll do my best to zoom in and out. It's not ideal looking at six tables, but, you know, um, hopefully you get the chance to see what I'm folding as well. I may change it at a later date to, to four tables, just to make it a little bit easier to look at. But I also think, it, you know, it's good that you can see what I'm folding, what I'm not playing, rather than just the hands that I am playing. Maybe that'd be useful. And if you've got any tips, you can help me. <laughs> Stop playing poker. <laughs> Stop doing YouTube videos. Okay. 9-7 here in the big blind. So with all that money out there, we're going to call that. Uh, just to completely miss it. Um, so, you know, I think with deep stack poker, your suited hand has become a little bit more valuable. Okay. And you probably want to be raising a little bit bigger than what you would be doing to try to take down pots. Free flop with some more marginal type of hands. And, uh, 
you know, you want to get out of the way with your... I think with my, what I tend to do with my sort of medium pairs, I tend to try to, you know, limp behind. I'm not re-raising with them. Um, and, you know, the thing is, there is more chance to, well, there are more opportunities to set mine with all the, the stack sizes out there. I mean, you know, with, Hands like five five six six seven seven, which we've got here on the bottom right. I've just uh, I've got to zoom in. I mean, we have nothing there now, but you know, we're not really going to be looking to continue here with the seven seven. But at the same time, you've got you know five or six players in the, in that pot. There's already a bit of a, a bit of a pot building up. Um. You know, so if we do get a chance to see a cheap card, one more card, we might, you know, we'll go for it. We're not going to go for this now. Um, so really what you're looking to, what I'm looking to do, pocket pairs, um, they're not as strong as what... Uh, you don't really want to be continuing with them unless you've got something like this is just my strategy i want to try to play them as cheaply as possible and then get out of the way if nothing happens because you know if people are going to be betting big money you know your five five six six your bluff catchy type of hands they're not going to hold up so so much you can be losing a lot of money that's my estimation you're 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 better off with your suited connectors particularly in position where your hands got a chance to improve you know with your pocket pairs you know your, your the, the chances of your hand improving is not very good so um let's see how we get on I haven't played deep stacked anti poker for a long time. I had it in Poker Stars at one point and then they stopped it, I think. I played a bit then. I quite like it. It is uh, yeah, it's a bit more thrilling than the usual cash game. It's a bit more like a tournament, how a tournament plays, I think. But I think you just really have to. You know, I think really it's going to be quite swingy. You're going to be winning stacks, losing stacks, and um, you just have to, you know, have to keep an eye on the rake. You know, it's no use playing and being like, you know, forty dollars in profit and the rake's forty dollars. What's the point in that? You know, so is it beatable? Well, we'll, we'll, we'll see. I've no idea. I don't know what the rate structure is. I, I think. I haven't really, during these challenges, we'll have a look at that, we'll compare to GG to PokerStars. I think the rake on GG is a bit more expensive than PokerStars, but, you know, obviously we've got the leaderboards, the, the bonuses and, and so on to take into consideration. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I'm doing these challenges and I'm excluding the bonuses from the, the headline figures I put on our thumbnails. And at the end of the month, I'll have a look at the bonuses that we got and, and see how that impacts uh, on our profit. You know, do we just have to live off bonuses or can we actually make real profit? Um, you know, or... Or is the idea for GG that GG just want this, wants this to be fun for people and don't really want people to make a profit, which is fine. And um, everyone plays and if the expectation is not to win any money, not to lose any money, and they're happy for, you know, with that, then no, no, that's up to them, you know, but... I, I, I don't really play poker just for fun. 
I mean, yes, I am a, a fun player, but I want to make some money. I don't want to sort of start off my day and thinking, oh, I'm just going to be clicking buttons today and donate a bit of money to GG. Um, no, don't think so. I want to make a little bit of money, so well, hopefully you can make a lot of money, but we'll, uh, we'll see. Now you see here with six tables, we haven't really had a hand to play for the last couple of minutes. That's why, you know, with poker stars, I don't like their four table system. So if you're listening to poker stars, don't get too upset. Please let us play more tables. Here, ace five, we've got, you know, 500, uh, ace 10 suited rather. We've got 500 chips to play for already. Just gonna call behind with the five here. So let's zoom into that. Ace 10 suited with the five big blind open. Okay, we completely missed that. So, you know, we're going to, you know, possibly pay a little bit more to enter some pots. Uh, people are going to be open bigger, particularly from early positions. The reason why they would do that, because, you know, um, if they've got ace, ace, king, king, that's a strong hand, but you're playing nine, nine handed, you don't want, you want to try to get heads up. You don't want... Um, four or five people calling because you know it's going to be very attractive for people to call a free big bar and blow it bet, uh, open raise if they're sat on 300 chips you know there's a thousand chips to play for you know they're going to be calling with a lot of hands uh, uh, because uh, they're incentivized to do so so if you've got ace, ace, king, king, you know, you probably could even be open raising five, six, seven, eight, you know, um, and, uh, you know, you probably get uh, heads up, you know, maybe one, pe one person, two, two players would call that or something for a re-raise or whatever. So you really you think a little bit differently than the normal stack sizes. And I've seen a lot of this here, you know, we've had the guy go all in with 10 ton, uh, it was a bit, you know, a bit thin. Um, but these games are playing sort of a little bit wild, a little bit loose. You have to, I think, take a few more risks here. And be prepared to lose a stack with some more marginal holdings. Just gonna re-raise the ace eight. You'll still punish the limps. Got position. We get the eight. I'm gonna enlarge the if we can hit an ace. Put them all in. Hopefully, he's got an ace king or something. See what I mean? You've got to be a bit aggressive. I had nothing, uh, but I, I call it with the ace nine. Um, suited hands are a little bit stronger. We've got 500 chips to play for, and we don't really get anything there. Now, ace nine was a bit loose. You know, it's very foldable, but you know, 60. I can't read that 62% B pip. I'm flattening the sixes with the open raise five. Usually, I might fold that, but again, 163. You know, 200 chips behind. This guy's only got 16 V pip, so he's, he's, he's highly likely he's got something nice. 
Um, we've got a good shot, so I'm going up there. And that was enough to take that down. So it's probably, um, I don't know what he had there. King Queen, probably, by the looks of it. Well, I'll pro because I'm playing six tables, I'll probably just show the graph at the end of the session because um, it's a bit messy for me to... What, what I find is with using poker crap, and, and I've got miss hands, really. And uh, so, sorry about that. If you can expect to, usually, I would try to show the graph every 15 minutes or so. But if you give me this time, I'll just uh, go a bit slower. But you will get the information at the end. Um, but like I say, it is a poker graph graph and not the holder manager graph. And, and, and the holder manager graph tells the real story. And what we really want to know is how much of that profit do we lose to rate? Because, you know. We need to know, do we make a profit at the end of the day? That's what it's all about. So, I mean, you look, just look at the stack sizes there. We've got 262, 272, 200, 219, 354, 491. Okay, it doesn't really mean much, but you know, each table we buy in for 200 big blinds. And you can see we, we've won a, a few chips, we've lost a few chips as well. So, I mean, it'd be interesting to see what a really long session here does produce. And the one thing I will say is there are a lot of people playing these games. I mean, I'll just have a look now on natural aid which is the same player pool as gg and there's 30 tables oh, this is just the two dollar games 30 tables 250 players playing this or well, i mean probably like myself some people play multiple tables but there's you know so i think that, that's more than poker stars i think i mean i don't know i mean uh I don't really keep those sick figures in my head, but you know, it's a healthy number. And compared to the $2.6 max, $2.6 max, 68 tables, 382. So still still more playing six max. And we, we will still play the six max. Okay, so we get six, seven. You see here we got the uh, suited connector, six, seven. We, we got the gut shot and the... Uh, Oh, the guy just got super big here. Uh, I'm not fighting against that with a, a weak. Yeah, I mean, he could have had an ace diamond or something. Uh, uh, yeah. This is what you get here. I'm a fair play to him. He forced a fold out of me with a, a hold in. Does and he says king king jack jack probably did the job for him fair enough but you know we still had nothing but a, a draw and not the best draw so in the 6-5 here. <laughs> I 
I'm not sure how many tables you can play here. I'm, I'm playing six at the moment. I, I feel like I could play more. Haven't set up more. Let's just see, just as an experiment, if I can open another table. I'm not. I won't, I won't continue with it. I just want to see. Okay. Yeah, I mean, here we go. It's allowed me to open seven. You know, so I'm not going to play that. I'm just experiment, you know. So, um, I don't know how many you can play. Um, but clearly more than six. So, interesting. Are you watching Poker Stars? I mean, I've got a soft spot spot for Poker Stars. I've played a lot of poker at Poker Stars. I've done well at the cash games, tournaments. Always seem to be a nightmare for me at Poker Stars. But I don't know why they uh, don't allow you to play more than four cash game tables. I, I've got a vague idea of why they were. Um, I've, I think people used to play about 24 tables and to just play ace, ace, king, king. So they, they changed it to to deal with that. I think they went down to four tables. Well, seems a bit uh, of an extreme solution to me. But clearly they'd done their research and that was the number they came out with. I, 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 you know, look, I'm, I've got six tables here. I haven't played a hand for, I don't know how long, I'm just clicking forward. So, I don't think it would make that much difference to me if I was playing seven or eight. Really. I mean, the thing is here with the with the antes, you put in, you know, every every hand you put in a small blind ante in. So you know, with six tables. That's um, three blinds every round, doesn't it? Three big blinds every round. So you got to make that pay. You want you could be paying rake on that. I think there's a pre-flop rake at GG. Nice, and um, you know you've got to, you've got to make that pay. So if you you, know, you click fold for too long, you're gonna you're gonna be be behind in chips. Okay, I'm going to re-raise with the uh, Ace-10 suited here. We like suited hands. We completely missed that. No hearts, but two overs. Um, I'm just going to put a bet in. Hopefully we can take that down. Which we don't. We don't really get that much help from the turn. I'm just going to check. We hit the ace. We do have a weak kicker. 
you have to call it. It's far. Oh, look at that, man. Look at that. Runner, runner. A lot of that, a lot of that going on. I've had a couple of runner runners today. Here we go again. Top pair. Let's sped up. There we get a little bit back there. Let's zoom out again. I had a plop earlier, I had Ace King, Ace King on the plop, but with two blues. Guy went all in with like 10, 5 diamonds. I don't know why you play, you know. I just got. I, I had to call it, but. You know, re raise the King 10 suited on this table. And punish the limps as much as I can. to get shot here with the king nine we get anywhere without thanks for the turn which is really useless we're out of the way I've re-raised quite big with the ace jack here, probably a bit too big. Got an open raise six six six. Oh, with the ace king, sorry, we hit the king. Uh, I'm just gonna put pot in there for a hundred. The blinds. Okay. Should have maybe gone a bit smaller. Uh, we've got the uh, a set of jacks here. Um, we're just going to put this all in now. Hopefully, he doesn't have diamonds. He has a set of eight, so we're in good shape. Hopefully, he doesn't get an eight. This is an A, I'm gonna, I'm gonna swear. Three, fine. Okay, great. Oh, yeah, I've seen, I've seen AIDS there. Okay, so uh, 800 chips there now, so that's great. Let's zoom out. So that was a big pot. That was good for us. So I don't know how much we won in that pot. 300 big blinds, I think. Something like that. Um, okay, so this table here, we have uh, 800 chips in the 300, 213, Let's quickly look at the graph. I can quickly do that. 
So here it's saying plus nearly ten dollars. So there you go. Uh, the problem with six tables have got to be really quick. I did say I'll do it at the end, but I was excited about that bin. I played a bit of this yesterday. I think I don't know. Plus ten dollars, fifteen dollars, something like that. So it seems to be profitable, um, you know, so I don't know what I've played now, about one and a half thousand hands, two thousand hands, something like that. So, you know, I, I think plus twenty dollars and, and that's probably with the rate taken out, I think, so, you know, it, uh, so let's say two thousand hands, twenty. That's ten. Let's say at the moment ten thousand dollar, ten dollars a thousand. Okay, thousand hands. Right, this rate you play a hundred thousand hands a month. It will be uh, um, one thousand dollars a month. Sorry, I, I've adjusted my microphones, and. I still wasn't happy with the sound I was getting. But it does mean that you might hear some background noises. I'm going to call with the sevens here. I mean, we probably lost this, but... Of course, he's got a chat. Of course. Yeah. Well, you know, just with these players, with the, they're just messing about quite a lot, and I think... Could easy fold the bluff catches. Our seven is very foldable. It's very now sort of uh, call, but I think with that player, I've, I've called a few hands like that in, previously and uh, got it. You know, so it turned up with some junk. Queen ten. I'm going to call um, mainly because it's suited. And so here we've got the, the plus draw. And I'm just going to bet a half pot, try and take it down. Let's zoom into that, see what happens. I expect him to re raise. Okay, so. The power of the suited hands. So here we have a uh, top pair with ace queen. We take that down as well. So you see, with the deeper stacks, I'm calling. Um, three bets a little bit more widely particularly with the suited hands suited connectors are much more of a call um, let's just zoom into the good shot here with the fives I'm just going to check because there's lots of people going to call that Fives are uh, still a bit bluff catchy. We could have the best hand, I doubt it. Yeah, this time I'm happy to fold. Well, not happy, but I'm gonna fold. Of course, they've both got jacks. Oh, what a surprise. Good fold. Queen two, I'm gonna call because it's suited. We get the good shot, we need a four. Just check. A lot of checking back with these multi-way pots. You know, it's really cool, check, 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 and you know get it in there. It's a kind of I wouldn't say it's my only strategy, but I'm kind of like it's a bit uh fit or fold, you know. 
this for me. Uh, let's have a look. Queen's here. King here. I mean, I enjoy these games. I think I prefer this to six mats. I do like nine mats because I can just, you know, relax a bit more than the six max and the, and the zoom. Or Russian cats, beep, beep, beep. It's okay, but I can't play that for too long. The, you know, here, with six tables, I'm still getting a reasonable amount of volume, you know, and I'm, I, I like this deep stuff thing. And you can see, it's going to be really swingy, isn't it? And uh, we've just got to see longer term whether we can make it profitable, really. You know, that that's the key thing, like, like I said. Going to re-raise the ace-king here. It's open four, so let's put the 14. Uh, what's that? There we go. I mean, he's got 15 V-pip, so, you know, he's obviously got ace-ace and king-king and queen-queen. Those sorts of things in his ha in his range. But he could also have ace queen, ace jack. I'm going to continue with a, a half pop bet. And we get absolutely nothing. I'm just going to check now, slow down a bit. I think we're beat. With a nap ending now. Uh, I'm going to re raise. Oh, oh, it's going to be. So I need to zoom out a bit. I missed. I didn't get to click a, a king queen in time. It's king queen on the flop. Plus two blues. Look, I missed that. Just missed the timing for the click. Look at that. King queen and diamond diamond. I missed it. Okay, there you go. That's one of the uh, perils of. Uh, six tables. Sometimes you do get. Do miss your click or two. That would have been ours. No, I'm not going to stack off with Ace King now. I mean, if you have got a nuttish hand, if you have, I mean, it's a bit of a waste of ace ace if that's what you've done, isn't it? I mean, think about it. There you go, I'm just going to flat the ace seven. In position, I like to flat the suited connectors. Got two pairs down right. I'm flatting the fours. Oops.
Uh, I'm going to re-raise the King Jack uh, here on the uh, this one. Oh, this guy is an asshole, isn't he? I'm sorry for swearing, but I mean that, that's obviously all he does. He just shoves two, three bets. He just four bets shoves. So what a knob. Okay. Like a child. But then he probably doesn't make much money. Because the shit at poker. Sorry. Fucking annoying. So this is what you get here, it's the, uh, you do get your fair share of wallies. Zoom out. I forgot that. We do have the overpair with the H, but it's a weak overpair. Motorway, how likely are we to improve? We've got an 8, uh, what is it, a 40% beep hip. We'll call one. We'll go pot, try to take it down. We do have outs. That's great. I didn't mean to limp here with the uh, Ace Queen suited. That was a misclick, but we'll take it. We got the Ace. We'll call. I'm going to bet pot. To the check. Does he have ace king? I'm gonna bet. Ace queen too. Ace king suited. I get this guy here is gonna shove. But that's all he does. He only knows one. You can't play a flop. Oh, amazing. Queen four, we could have the best hand. Oh, it's against uh, this guy, Ace 10. I don't, I don't understand that. I really don't understand. That okay, well, I'm just guessing as he goes along. Oh, I think I shove. Oh, I think I call. Oh, I think I check. Okay, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll leave that table anyway, that's pretty much empty anyway. So, well, I know, move this this way. We'll st stick with the five for now. Look at this, a shove going to my nines.
Okay, we've got two raised kings suited. Um, we raise the first one. I'm just going to call. Got 26, one there. We've just got 12. Percent V pips. So hopefully we can get an ace or king. We don't. So annoying. I call one. It's a lot. Come on. No. It's an expensive hand with this ace king. I fold now, unfortunately. Are you saying he's got a set or a straight? Ten, ten, nine, seven, so nine, nine, straight. I don't really know why he was continuing six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, good shot. Uh, dear. But in, into the aces, a range bet here. We take that down. Sorry about that. Don't know what happened there. a lot with the bottom set there. What I'm going to do with the graph on this challenge, I'm just going to include the games that I played yesterday and maybe the day before. So you can see here, it's just, it's going to, it's just going to be easier for me to do uh, in the future just to update. Because I was just thinking, I mean today is for example the 10th of April. Uh, and I started playing these $2 games yesterday. Or the day before. So, I haven't played many. I mean, 
what you see on that graph is every one of the, these games that I've played forever. And I just thought, well, you know, instead of just missing out the the first day or two, every time I do an update, I'll just, um, you know, I'm just going to flat the queens. I should re-raise, but I think the guy's going a bit crazy, 58% V-pip. Probably a re-raise is better, but... That could be that's what happens. Uh, we've already got a crappy ace. We take a risk with it. Does he have an ace or not? Yes, he does. 50% B pip is it? And he gets served the nuts. Wonderful. I just find this happens a lot, doesn't it? You know, it's kind of oops. Boy, I, 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 uh, I zoomed onto the wrong table there. Basically, I had queen queen guy re raised big. He's been playing on this table here. 56% of his hands, and there was an ace on the flop, and he had ace jack, ace jack suited. It's amazing how, you know, you get a decent hand, and donkey's got the nuts, you know, or gets the nuts. But, you know, that's, you gotta, you got to live with that. Let them win sometimes. Lost a few chips there, uh, I think. Caught down with the queen queen because I just thought he was. He could have been playing around with anything. Like he has been pretty much all game. But this is the thing here, I think sometimes you do have to call down with some of your more marginal hands because there's a bit of bluffing going on here. And that's going to win your money sometimes, and it's going to lose your money sometimes. Some, you know, you just got to play some really, I think you're here, you just got to play some quite exploitative lines, I think. Not much chance for GTO in a lot of these hands. Okay, King Queen suited here. Wow, we flop a straight. Four way. We're gonna put a half pot into that. Hopefully we can get the two pair or a set to continue. Oh that's absolutely this is this is one where we have the straight we re raised it into. So obviously I think he's got king queen too. We don't want if he's got a set we don't want the board to pair here. I'll just zoom out a bit because it's gonna take a bit of time. This guy's got a connection problem, so we don't want to be waiting for a minute. What do we do? We've been re-raised. I mean, he could have queen. I 
Well, clearly he's probably got good queen, hasn't he? Let's hope the other guy bets. Will he call a shove? Well, I think they'll just shove and see if he calls. Queen Jack. So, uh, way ahead. I said, I think he's got a queen, so that's good for us. Let's hopefully he doesn't get a queen. Yep, we got it. Well done, so that was a good nice few bit of chips there. We've got a set here, middle set with the fives. And obviously there's a straight on the board. I'm just going to re-raise that to 19. Let's hope he's got an overpair when he shoves. Okay, I mean, he could have been his straight now with uh, ace or whatever, so we'll just put it in. He's already got it, or he hasn't, he hasn't got many chips. So. Okay, so we're ahead. I'll run it twice. Sure, why not? Or oh, three times. Uh, two, one. Fair enough. Okay, so that's great. Uh, we have uh, jacks here on the bottom. I'm going to re raise the jacks. We'll we take it up to 11.5, 12. A big, vulnerable hand. Be happy to get out of the way at some point with it. Okay, um, just gonna check. Now we could be up against ace queen, uh, ace high type of hands. I'll have to call with the jacks, unfortunately. An ace comes. We could have the best hand. Oh, look at that man. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Ace nine. Come on. Annoyed I didn't bet into the uh into the plot then. Some crappy river sometimes. But that's poker, isn't it? Oh, I don't get a river, do I? I get a brick. I just get bricks. I saw I might be good enough. I can't really see with this notification. So. Where do you can turn those off? I just find it's irritating. TT Poker, stop doing these notifications. I don't care. Just find another way to communicate.
So there was the graph, plus twenty dollars on that. Obviously, we've got to take out the the rake. And that, that's every hand I've played at this this two dollar anti game on Natural Aid GG Poker Network. I only I started playing him yesterday. I think just it's just gonna be easier for me to update. I just thought well. Save mission out the first day or two. I'll just put it all together and, and include it in, in, the, in the one challenge. It was only like yesterday. Otherwise, I'll just be ignoring those hands. It doesn't really make sense just to miss one day out of the challenge. So, there we go. I will use the. Uh, the poker craft figure on the thumbnail but also bear in mind i'm aware that that at a later date probably the end of the month we'll go through and take away the rake so we'll have a look at the rake at some point in between i'll make the adjustments then but i'm not going to have time to upload it to my holder manager and do all the calculations now but, you know, I, you know, just be aware that that is the gross figure, and or, you know, rake will come out of that. I'm holding a good shot to the queen there. Okay, we've got this guy here, the bottom left. He's open raised six. We've got ace queen. We've got two, we've got seven hundred chips to go for. I'm just gonna flat with the ace queen, and we get the the nut draw. Just gonna check shove probably. Two overs. Oh, we need a spade. In we go. A club, sorry. Okay, I'm going to pause it there. I'm actually going to have some breakfast. And I'll uh, just play these last few hands. Fold the eights. Oh, okay. Have you got the King Jack to finish? Wow, we flopped the second up flush. I'm just going to go half pot. 
Let's hopefully we're not up against the lock plush. Gonna call. A little bit pot. Well, he's saying he's got the nut flush. So, hopefully he's got a set. Good luck, King Jack. Turn two pairs. So we're ahead. Um, let's try to zoom into that. I meant to, meant to allow him to run it twice. I misclicked. Okay, we got that. Covered. Okay, so we got a bonus uh, right at the end. So, so here's the graph. Um, plus $25. I meant to... Sometimes I'm not very good at zooming in and out with the screens. These are the hands that I played... I've actually played the last two or three days. So this morning where I am and so it's Monday. So I played some on Sunday and Saturday, but total of 2,100 hands. It just makes it easier. Sorry, I didn't have a chance to do a video yesterday or the day before. And instead of when I do the update, because this, this is basically all the hands I've played on the GG network with the $2 hands with the the new nine max with the anti so I just thought I'd just include every single hand so we missed the first sort of couple of days but not a big deal